Hi friends. I thought today I would share with you one of my favorite visual storytelling based icebreaker activities. Hi, I'm Haley, Chief Doodler at Thoughts Drawn Out. I'm all about getting creativity working so I can help you to make your mark. Okay, so when I am facilitating a workshop or uh, running a course, I've got a group of people in a room together looking to achieve something. Um, I'm very big on some sort of warm up, welcome to the space activity. It helps people transition from wherever they were before into the room and it helps set them up with the right frame of mind for the type of activity that we're going to be doing. And if I'm in the room, then most likely it's visual storytelling based anyway. So this particular activity, I use my two card decks that I have, the, um, the story deck and the picture deck. Uh, but you wouldn't necessarily need these decks to make this work. You could make your own tools um, for, for, the, for the exercise. This, this is what I use, but not necessary. So what I like to get people to do is get into small groups, either pairs or groups of three, depending on the arrangement in the room. And I assign roles. So in the first round, one person is going to be the storyteller, the other person, the illustrator. If there is a third, they're, they're the observer. So I lay out all of these different story prompter cards all over a table. Um, and I'll share a few just so you get the idea of what some of these are. So uh, the time that still makes me cringe. Uh, that time when the timing was just perfect. The time I met a famous person. The time I saw something I wish I could unsee. <laughs> the time I learnt what I'm really made of. So just to give you an idea, there's a whole bunch of different story prompters. So I have them all laid out on the table. Whoever is storyteller first has to go and read all of these and without overthinking it, just when a prompt jumps out, when they go, oh, I've got a story for that one, that's their card. They either grab it or take a photo of it. They go back to their group uh, and they share their story. I say take about, you know, five minutes or so. So, you know, not the 30 second version, but not the half hour version around the campfire, the, the five minute version of the story, but tell the story from your personal experience and life that this card prompted for you. The other people need to listen. When the story is done, uh, the illustrator then needs to go up to my picture table where I have all of my picture cards laid out. So to give you an example of these, they're, bunch, they're just different icons. Um, with some suggestions down the bottom for what they could represent. So umbrella, megaphone, oh, all the yellow ones are coming up, Wi-Fi signal, but there are some different colors in here too. So let me find, there we go, sunshine, two people in a conversation. So there's a whole variety of different icon cards and they're laid out all over the table as well. So the illustrator needs to go up, think about the story they just heard and pick a couple of cards that they think illustrate that story. Now they're going to go back to the person who told the story and they're going to replay that story to them through the cards that they've chosen and why they chose that particular symbol or icon to represent that part of the story and they have a conversation around uh, that experience of telling the story and then having it replayed back to you in picture form. So we then swap roles and people get who, you know, if you were storyteller first time around, you become illustrator, vice versa. If you're observer, then everyone switches. Uh, so we all get a chance to play the different roles in this scenario. And then we have a great conversation at the end around how did it feel? And there's a number of things that will inevitably come up in this conversation at the end. So the first is that when you share a story, you share something of yourself and a little bond is formed. So even in a, a room of many, many people, 
and you may not know many of them at all or any of them, you now have maybe one or two others that you have a connection with because you've shared something of yourself. So this instant human to human engagement connection occurs. The second thing that people invariably talk about is how it feels when someone plays your story back to you uh, because you feel really heard because they didn't just listen to the words. They listened to understand because they applied a layer of synthesis to what they heard in order to make some decisions about how to represent it in pictures. So the depth to which they feel heard is is significant. It feels like a real moment. The illustrators then have the experience of talking about how does it feel to translate information that came to them verbally into picture form and, and how did they make the choice? Because you only have a limited number of icons. So how do you pick the right icons to retell that story? And the process that your mind goes through in terms of, oh, I could use this picture in that way. And the way that it gets your creativity going um, and just kind of opens up all of that, that side of your brain that you may not have been using before. So it is quite a great way to invite people into the room, to help them feel connected and engaged, to really lift some energy, to get some creativity flowing that you can then move um, into the rest of a workshop. Now, I hope you found uh, this uh, useful. Maybe it's something you can go and try for yourself. Uh, if you've got questions about how this works, please shout out. I'd love to hear your questions. I'd love to help answer them for you. Um, I'd love to see you give this a go and see if you can have some success uh, in the conversations that you lead. Now, we've made it to the end, people, so you know what that means. It's time for you to go out there and make your mark. <laughs>